Hey Savers, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be cash stuffing about $70 and doing some savings challenges. Hopefully you'll stay tuned. So we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. We're almost into October, you guys. So I have $15 that I need to put into my laundry envelope first. My husband has already gone to the laundry mat for the last week, so this is for next week. And that's $15. now the fun stuff the savings challenges so your year to save one thousand dollars we're going to save forty dollars today so i'm going to go ahead and color in one two calendars for october to get ready and i'm very excited about getting ahead of this um i'm determined to be done with this before december i'm hoping we can be done by the end of november Maybe even sooner. Okay. Who child? Forty dollars. So that's the two twenties. And I'll take out my pink file of facts. I'm so excited to start other challenges too. So let's add this to what we have. Let's count this up 100, 200, 300, 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 1, 2, 3, 4, 600, 1, 2, 3, 4, 700, 720, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 780 dollars. 780 dollars is what we have now in the year year to save one thousand dollar challenge. I am so excited about this because that means we are already three weeks ahead of, of schedule, which means we should be able to finish this by either the last week of November or the very first week of December. I'm excited about that. Okay, now we're gonna do more challenges and these are mini challenges that I'm doing. The first one is going to be, I'm gonna scratch off um, the never give up challenge from Marlene. Let me take a coin from here. My little piggy bank, super, super, super cute. All right, now the dollar amounts on this are between five and $25. So I hope this is nice to me today because we have 10, I think 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have $15 left to use. So let's see what we get. I'm going to go with this one here in the middle Yay, it's five dollars. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Five dollars for this one. Okay, so that was easy. Now, do I scratch again or do I wait? I think I'm going to wait. So we're gonna put five dollars in there today. I like doing these mini challenges too. It does help motivate you to get, you know, small, have those small wins. So this is a $75 one. So we still have a little bit of time and we're already ahead of the game. So 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64 dollars already saved um, for these scratch offs because this is the second one from Marlene that I'm doing. Okay. Save for pause. I did say I was going to start that this week. This was created by Mandy's Budgeting Items. 
that's her Etsy shop. Her YouTube handle is Mandy's Budgeting Journey. So save for pause. Now, I've just been marking off whatever I choose to save. I don't know if I should be rolling a die or dice or multiplying. I could try multiplying because, again, this money is going towards my baby girl's envelope since we're having a new baby. So let me get my dice and then let's just roll it. I think I'm going to add instead of multiply just because I'm not working with a lot extra and I don't want to have an IOU. So let's roll the die and see what we get. We got three, so we can save three, right? Yeah, or let's go here, let's do it like this. One, two, three, that's a six. And let's see how much we add to six. Ooh, five. Six and five is 11, and we have 11. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we don't, we have 10. All right, we're gonna do that differently. So if I just count one, two, three, that's six, we're just gonna save $6 today, and that's six. And let's try one more time. We have $4 left. Let's see, let's see what we roll. That's a six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's two dollars. Okay, so we'll save two dollars. So now we have five, six, seven, eight dollars so far in save for pause, which is going to my baby girl. So we're gonna stop there for today. And then, boy needs a haircut. I'm not gonna do any of these other challenges just yet because I want to finish the scratch off and the um challenge from Mandy. So let me just roll the dice for uh, abundance again. This is one of my favorite binders that I like to stuff. And I want to see how much money we can put in here so that we can have enough for, um, we can have enough for when just random things come up. So we have $2, so we'll roll twice and see who's getting a dollar each. Uh, one, two, date night is getting a dollar. Put that in there. That was easy. One more dollar. Oops. And abundance. I kind of threw the die. And abundance is getting a dollar. Okay. I consider this, if think of it like a cushion or just an extra money. Like when something comes up, we, we, we have, we have an abundance of money. So we're saving until we can, you know, Hit, I'm thinking a hundred dollars in each envelope and then I'll transfer some money to the bank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars now in abundance. Yeah, because last week we had nine dollars. Date night has now one, two, three, four, five. Eating out still, we didn't, did we put money in eating out? I think we just did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars in eating out now. Husband has the same, he still has six dollars from last week. And oops, I believe has five dollars from last week. One, two, three, four, five, good. A dollar here, a dollar there, three dollars here when you can, it adds up. And it's money that you don't miss if you're budgeting as well as cash stuffing, not just putting money in envelopes. I almost forgot. So I have some money still left in my wallet from last week and I'm not gonna take out anything less than a dollar, but I do also wanna check for change because coins add up too, you guys. And I'm gonna scan that receipt with fetch and see how much I get from that. I have a dollar left in household cash and we're gonna keep that there for now. I also have 30 cents. I'm gonna put that into my coin jar and voila. I'm gonna roll over any money that I have in here and that is it. That's the final part of the video. Thank you. Oops, but actually stuffing cash, actually budgeting helps to, so you know how much am I working with, how much do I need to pay my bills, how much can I save, how much can I get ahead. This is my getting ahead challenge. 
your year to save $1,000 is the one challenge that is going to help us um, build a cushion in our account so that we can have a little bit of extra income because the checking account that we use um, gives us interest. They pay us interest. And if we have a, a balance that's there, that's always there, that $1,000, then whatever we get over that, if we have a little oops where we, we um, under budgeted for something or we end up being over budget for groceries, we have a little something to tap into so that we don't go back into debt. We want to stay out of debt. And this is a fun way to do it. So I'm super excited to be ahead of this challenge. I'm grateful that you were here for as long as you were. Thank you so much again. Continue to be strong and courageous and keep on saving. Bye for now.